So Preach from the YouTube channel, Abba and Preach was on Tiger Belly and had a very interesting appearance. He called out Kolila multiple times and was pushing back on several occasions when she tried to disrespect Bobby Lee and put him on blast. They also talked about how Bobby Lee avoids confrontation and then revisited the Carlos Mencia incident, which I thought was pretty cool that they did. But there were a few things that I disagreed with. So I recommend you watch the entire video because there was a lot of interesting moments between Preach and Kolila that I think you should watch. So with that being said, let's get started. People's names. He does. That's yeah. why I'm doing it. He calls, you Tom, he calls you Tommy Lee, so. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. I knew he called me Tommy Lee, right? <laughs> he probably thinks I'm Ronnie Chang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a good thing he thinks you're Tommy Lee because of the big size. Oh, you mean the rocker Tommy yeah. Lee? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I just work with Brittany. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She talk, talked about it. That's, oh, that's what I, that's, so that's, true. That's, I... Don't give away my secret, dude. My bad. My bad. That's Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, bro. I claim big. <laughs> that, is, that is true because I've been with a guy with a micro business, and it's not like I walked out. Like I finished the job completely. <laughs> finished yeah. the job. So, Bobby, how was the relationship with? <laughs> Yeah, bro, 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 bro. She gonna blast you? Is she gonna bro. blast you like that? Yeah, yeah, that was that's me. Disrespectful. That wasn't me, preach. Hey, hey, you was could, that me? Hey, you could say was that me. You could, you could say like that, like Shaggy Shaggy. It wasn't me. <laughs> but we don't believe you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's small. No, it's average. Thank you. Yeah, it's very average. Yeah. So right off the bat, literally within the first five minutes, Bobby was joking around, introduced Kalila as her ex-girlfriend. Preach was joking around. Kalila wanted to joke around, and then she took the conversation from zero to 100 by trying to joke around about micro -p Obviously, Preach's reaction says it all, and this is the moment when he started actually pushing back out of what Kalila was saying and actually listening to what was coming out of her mouth. And this is when he calls her out for the first time for trying to put Bobby Lee on blast. Obviously, he was kidding around, but it had to be done. That is not the first time that Kalila tries to make a comment or makes a comment that seems innocent, but makes Bobby Lee just look completely bad. And it's good that Preach was there to call it out and make fun of it. And he's obviously great at it because they do that a lot on his YouTube channel, which is massively successful. They watch people, they read them, and then they comment on what they think. Again, Kalila tried to make some comments that would make Bobby Lee look bad. Bobby Lee didn't push back that much. And that's when Preach had to step in and help him out. In your position of power, especially like, it was so just rampant every like that's what how dudes like let me get you something i'm gonna I'm make yeah you want to do stand up try open marks i'll take you on the road <laughs> wait, wait 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 his position of power that's okay it's a whole conversation him and i have but what, he what like position of power <laughs> hey f man no no I'm wait not, wait, no, no, wait. Stop, back, back. so in certain circles i do have power that's it <laughs> the reason that i use the term the reason that I use the term of Age of power, position bro. of power yeah. Yeah, yeah. is because he likes, he has out, he has talked about not being attracted to a woman who is um, equally as wealthy. Um, oh, God. Wait, is, said, I never said that. But I but, never said that. But Bobby, 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 that is most of us yeah it's 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 thank you black lit i told you i was on your side <laughs> i didn't know 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 i'm on your side oh, you're on my side i forgot and, yeah but, yeah, but it, more, I forgot. It. most of us is yeah, bad i get it and it's it, not so much that we we're not turned on by it is that we don't we don't care it doesn't matter yeah. in 92 la rides i would loot with, with you <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's in Montreal. Yes, so so. I, I know Bobby's saying in that context. You know what I mean? Korean. You know what I mean? I'm not against. I'm with. We're gonna do it together. It's my uncle's store, bro. We're gonna yeah, yeah. Do it <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm with you too, dog. Yeah. Well, right, thank you. I'm right here. I know. I'm here too, bro. Go ahead. I forgot the original boy. <laughs> okay. The thing that happened is that you were talking about position of power, and I said, "What do you mean by position of power?" Right, and he right. flipped the script. The reason why I said, "Why do you mean by position of power?" The only reason I said that is yeah. because. I, I feel like women have a tendency to use and over abuse of that term of position of power. And that's the only reason why I wanted to specify. Doesn't mean you ain't got power. Doesn't mean you ain't great. You are who you are. Bobby Lee. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, but I just want to know, what do you mean by position of power? Yeah, I, I, I think that it's more something that he's defined for himself. Not necessarily like, because even power. when I got with him, I never felt like he was in a position of power. <laughs> See who's not on your side now? <laughs> Look at me, Bobby. I'm nationwide. Nationwide. I know that one. That's me. 
you. That, that's me. I know. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Change job. What? No power? Nothing? Not in the beginning, no. Okay. No. Interesting. Wow, do you want me to leave you? Now, this one's pretty funny because Preach clearly had skeptical hippo eyes the entire time that she was talking and then called it out as a trap because it was. Kalila wanted to talk about how she read a book that was defining what infidelity was. And I'm sure just like myself, we all had the same reaction. What? <laughs> and since her bit about asking both of them if something was cheating or not didn't work so well, again, she tried to blast Bobby Lee. She essentially tried to call him out for liking a power differential in his relationships. She literally made it sound as if Bobby Lee likes a power differential. And that's why he looks or tries to date women that are not making as much money as him which is a wild statement to which Bobby Lee says that that is not what he said in the past. Preach noticed that and right away he stepped in and tried to defend Bobby Lee. He cut off Kalila from finishing what she was saying, which essentially would make Bobby Lee look like the worst person ever. Because that statement alone, if gone uncontested, it would make Bobby Lee look like a complete creep. Obviously, whether true or not, who knows? Bobby Lee said that that's not what he said. Kalila said that he likes that. So it was just interesting that she brought that up now. This is when Preach essentially calls out Kalila for using the phrase power differential uh, without really meaning it. And then she just decides to say, hey, you know what? When I met Bobby Lee, he wasn't really that powerful or there was not that power differential. And Bobby Lee's follow-up question was hilarious because right after she says that, he was like, wait, you don't think uh, there was a power differential when we first met? And she was like, no. And he said, interesting because of course when you talk about somebody having power it usually means influence or money or both and in this case if kalila once again is saying that when she met bobby lee he had neither of those what are we doing here that's completely insane we already covered this on another video and talked about the narrative that she met bobby lee when he was completely broke and at his lowest moment in life which was already proven wrong obviously now i might be looking too deep into this but i think bobby lee saying interesting was implying that he was not buying what what she was saying not the very confrontational type no if we talk about the whole debacle that happened with carlos mancia everybody <laughs> <laughs> did he Woo! bring it back he brought it back brought it. i love this guy <laughs> Fuck, I'm about to oh, told you to tell it and you was like ah yeah and i understood why i yeah yeah i, yeah. I get it that's why i, I get it but and, and even the, i understood where you're from and even joe rogan went like uh maybe i went a bit too much whatever but things were had to be said so i don't even think right there from the beginning no matter what you think from the core you're not a very confrontational person <laughs> and then after that you have to add <laughs> Yeah, everything that's right yeah. back then. What would you do? What would you have done? Ooh, baby. I would have said, you this know what? This is crispy. I would have been honest, and I would have said what I believe now is, is, yeah, he's a great performer, probably one of the best in the business. Yes. He crushes, right? Yes. I don't think some of his ideas is his, right? In fact, I know it isn't, right? Oh, my God. See the way you said that? Mm -hmm. You thought that was confrontational? There's still a lot of diplomacy. That was the softest shit I've heard today. <laughs> oh, wait, how would you? Oh, how would you? Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Give me another shot. Okay. <laughs> Give me another. This is my no, first time of being bro. confrontational. Hey, hey, what do you uh, What do you think about Carlos Mencia, Bobby? He's Bobby a thief. Lee. That that that's that's more like it. But <laughs> wait, can I say I put a butt there? He's a great guy. <laughs> There's so much yes. nuance when it comes to my relationship with him. All the things you that still he still got a relationship with him. Yeah, yeah I mean, I he still texts me. He gave you his first, your first car. He gave right? me. He, I didn't have a car. He bought me a car. Got he's me a still, car. He's still around. Yeah, he's still around. He still does comedy. Yeah, still does stand up. Cause I'd love to see that guy. He kills. Now that that shit is and, out, and he's like, also it, selling tickets and he's doing well. Cause now that that shit is out there. Yeah. All right. Hopefully, he doesn't do it no more. Cause I used to fuck up this dude. Me too. The the performance was on point on point yes. can we get over that's what i'm saying because he still he still can bring something to the table and i also have to say to, to defend him right is what he did was in terms of comedy um a crime right yes but other white dudes have done exactly the same thing he's done yeah, and yeah. they get their career they keep their career yeah, they keep their yeah. reputation and he was thrown out of the fucking business and he's been in prison for 15 fucking yes. whatever years. And I think because he's a, Mex a Hispanic guy and because he's a vocal guy. I think I think he was in jail for too long. Way too long. He was in jail for too long. And yeah. I think 
that's bro, that's me. Like, like, okay, we get it, we got it. Nah, he suffered. He can, he can, mm -hmm. he, 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 he really could do something out there. Yeah. So because right now, the clips that I see, I feel like it's his own voice. I don't think he's stealing anymore. I think he's having, he's finding joy in comedy again. He's selling tickets. You know, I know all those things. And um, he, without him in my life, I would have never been where I, I, you know, I am. Here's the thing. Preach calling out Bobby Lee for not wanting to be confrontational. It, it's not a hot take. We all saw that. We all witnessed that when that whole Kalila Brendan shop drama went down. But linking it back to the Carlos Mencia incident, I don't think it's a, a fair thing to do to Bobby Lee. We can talk about this subject for hours, but essentially Bobby Lee had a very personal and close relationship with Carlos Mencia back in the day. And he was put in a very bad spot by Joe Rogan and that famous tape that was leaked of him. Bobby Lee not wanting to come out and just blast Carlos Mencia for stealing jokes is completely understandable. And him trying to take it back and say that Joe Rogan was the one that was lying. Some people might call him a spineless for that, but at the end of the day, if... Joe Rogan took a video of you in a private setting or at the comedy store or whatever. You told him not to use the video and he still used it to take down your boss, your mentor. Again, you're in a tough spot, so there's no right or wrong at the moment. With the hindsight that we have now, yes, it's very easy to say, hey, you should have done this or you should have done that. Plus, Bobby Lee had a great point. Even Joe Rogan himself said that he went, he thought he went a little bit too far when it came to the Carlos Mencia incident, which is interesting because you could argue that it's true, but not only that, when Amy Schumer went through the exact same thing, Joe Rogan was the most charitable person to her. He went on his podcast and talked about how great of a person she was and tried to justify why she would steal something by blaming her. Maybe she had some writers. She had so many stuff going on that there was no way that uh, maybe she voluntarily stole those jokes which is very interesting because that's exactly what he accused Carlos Mencia of. Even though I'm fascinated with the case of Carlos Mencia, and I always think it's fun hearing people talk about it, I didn't think this conversation was the best in my opinion. I mean, it's good to hear that Bobby Lee and Carlos are still texting, but when it comes to Kalila, I mean, she has been laying low. Um, I haven't seen anything too crazy from her, but uh, this podcast didn't help her, in my opinion. Didn't help her cause, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, definitely an interesting podcast. I recommend you watch the entire thing. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel to help out. Um, we are so close to getting to 20,000 subscribers. Um, dislike if you didn't like the video, but that is all we have for today. See ya.